New East Tactical back with another video, guys. Medical kit. I just didn't have the same ring as. Maybe I should say med, you say it, and I say co. And no. then we say kit together. No. Let's try it. Med. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you said? Med, it, co. That's what I said, it. <laughs> med, eh, co. Okay. <laughs> kit. <laughs> Medical kit. <laughs> All right. The last medical kit we did was $30, and that was for your car or your fishing kit? Car. Okay. That's my vehicle. So I found one that actually was $20, yeah, right. which is what we thought it was originally. This $20 one I'm going to specifically be using on my bug out bag that I am currently building. Oh, okay. This one's got a, some different some Yeah, pretty cool yeah. Different like, I think it was only like 10 pieces less than the last one. Wasn't that the one like $3.98? Okay, maybe. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Alright. Let's open this bitch up. Okay. So it kind of looks like you got your aspirin and band-aids over here. So cause this is kind of like your boo-boo. Oh, your aspirin's in, like, in that little pocket. That's pretty cool. Gee, dude, look at how many. Yeah, Good the f***ing God. Guys, anyone that makes first aid kits, we don't need 75 band-aids. Like, I'm sorry. Like, look at all of these. This is both yeah. sides. Like, well, because you had 75 and 50 or something like that. 75 plastic, 20 fabric, 30 plastic, 10. So you got 50, 60, 70. So you got 145 band-aids in this thing. Plus 50 junior band-aids. So 200 band-aids, basically. So now I can see this from a standpoint of it's your family kit. I should. I don't know how to say this. Any one of us guys that are into this type of shit, you use five band-aids, you replace five band-aids. It's true. In the back, you got your emergency first aid guide. You got your two finger splints. Your two rolls of tape. Emergency cold compact. That's a pretty cool little All right, shit. that's a pretty good size. Yeah. It's not the first time you heard that either. Uh, these are your antiseptic towelettes. I mean, again, you could probably cut that down to... Okay, in that sense, I guess that one's okay, though. I'm a little bit more lenient on that one. I guess you got to look at it from long term to, like, am I going to take this and never be able to refill it? Or is this going in my car and I'm going to be able to refill it? Mm -hmm. Because if you're going to be able to refill it, two of these is fine. If you're not, okay, uh, that's it for that back pouch. So then you got your Q-tips, your scissors, your skeezers. Oh, there's your uh, thermometer one-time use because it sticks oh, right to what? your forehead. That's actually a really cool thing to have. One-time use, though. Yeah, yeah. Emergency blanket. You got your tweezers, your nitrile gloves. They're not in a, in a cover. That's a little weird. And then your rolled gauze. And it looks like here you got alcohol antiseptic and then just the BZK. So, again, it's a lot of them. Antibiotic? Uh, oh, this is ointment. The, this is the antibiotic ointment? Yeah. Yeah, antibiotic. Okay, I will point out with this, most of the time we do get those first aid pamphlets. This is a legitimate guide. You do have that first page to put your personal information if you want, but then we go on to airway obstruction, allergic reaction, bleeding cuts, scrapes, breathing emergencies, burns, cardiac arrest, diabetic emergencies, embedded objects, Frostbite, hypothermia, heat cramps, heat exhaustion. This is a full-blown manual that actually comes with it. So here's a question I'm going to throw out there for anyone that's watching the video and is actually going to watch it, you know, a good amount of it. I got two kids never been stung by a bee. Is there any legal way to acquire an EpiPen without having a prescription or without having someone having an allergy? My point so are being there, is are that, there different doses of EpiPens? That's, and I don't know. We've got to research that. That's okay. But even if, let's say there is, the reason why I'm kind of bringing it up is, like my car kit, it would be good to have an EpiPen. Of course. What if someone, not including my family. A what random if, ass dude. A random you know? person has an allergic reaction. Let's jump in on this side real quick. So this looks like it's your aspirin, ibuprofen, and Tylenol, or fake Tylenol, whatever you want to call it. Burn um, cream. Your burn cream. I love, this is all cool stuff. Burn gel, burn cream. Um, it's like, that's like the real deal stuff. 11 of 22. All right. 
I've used my first aid kit, Advil's and stuff like that because I needed, you know, I just didn't have Advil on me. These are your fingertip and your, uh, I'm assuming these are the junior band-aids. Right, right. I mean, like, but come on, bro. This is like a f- That's what I'm parts. saying. You might as well just lay all these out just so they get a feel for, so this is a secondary pocket right here. This isn't even doing any justice. Like butterfly closures, knuckles, and then what are these? This is the um, moleskin. Moleskins, which is awesome, by the way. That that's a good to have. This pocket's got uh, more band aids. These are your knee band aids, oval eye patch, your little band aids, oval eye patch. Then you got your gauze, which honestly you could probably never really have too many gauze. So that's the like the front four pockets. That was the one I kind of already pulled out, but Should I, like. Just kind of pull this all yeah, it's work. just a sheet of band-aids, basically. Just let that guy up. So you got your gauze again. Again, gauze and trauma pads, those trauma pads. you can always use. But then just... This is f***ing ridiculous. It's a deck of cards made out of band-aids. This is more than deck cards. It's like a f***ing phone book of band-aids. So leave in the comments what you think. Because, personally, I could either make this kid a lot smaller... Or I could put other stuff that I think, you know, uh, tourniquet, uh, chest, chest seal, uh, quick clot, that kind of stuff, and take up this part right here. Just put a couple of band-aids over here. We're not RVing. We're not boating. This is more his bug-out bag, what he, or what he was saying. In my bug-out scenario, I am planning on a maximum of 48 hours. Like, that is it because my plan is to come to this house from my location. If I'm planning for two days worth of food, I don't think I need this many band-aids in a medical kit that I'm only planning on being outside for 48 hours. I would focus more on the trauma stuff in case something really bad happens this to me. This stuff is huge want... for hiking. That I would keep. And just a sheet of these for scrapes and bruises, yeah. maybe even two sheets because they take up very little space when it's only two. It's when you add 11 sheets that it starts to get like a sandwich factor going well, on. Well, and let's be realistic. Like, honestly, when was the last time you put a Band-Aid on? A week ago, but prior to that, two months. But why did you put the Band-Aid on? Cut myself with a knife at work. So you had to stop the bleeding. Right. Or, so I or could keep on working. Bleeding. Yeah. Little cuts and scrapes. I guess if you want to fight off infection, you put a little antibiotic and then a Band-Aid. But I don't put, I don't put Band-Aids on anything unless I need to stop bleeding because I got to work or, you know, I don't want to bleed all over the table, whatever it might be. Like, to me, Band-Aids really, I'm not going to say they're worthless, but I don't really find a necessary need for them. If I'm ever bleeding that bad, I'd rather take a piece of gauze and a piece of tape. I was about you know? to say 90% of the time, if I don't have to go talk to a customer right away, I put a paper towel on it till yeah. it stops bleeding and then I yeah. call it a day. Like, you know? this like, stuff is, is pretty... I mean, I've personally never used it, but I always carried it. When you get a blister, you put this on your like your foot, and that way you reduce the uh, friction. Okay. Moleskin's really good. I mean, and that's great for hiking. For hiking yeah, huge, yeah. huge for hiking. You know, everything on this side was pretty solid. This side, I mean, I would have went with more gauze, less band aids, Le- yeah, a yeah. chest seal, and some quick clot. Mm-hmm. And, and I think it would have been a pretty solid I kit. definitely think at least a pocket of this could be modified, if not more. Definitely more, but... Well, I honestly think you can eliminate, like, this. Cut this one in half. This. Take greens out of there. Yeah, like, I mean, like, you've already eliminated three inches now of look, stuff. Now, all of that See, equals a, basically what the original sandwich was. Yeah. And you can throw in some more gauze... As far as I am concerned with my bug out bag, this is f***ing perfect. This was $20. This is an almost 300 piece first aid kit covering all of the basics. I am personally very impressed by that little guide by the Red Cross that literally covers most basic injuries in the wild. This is a good first aid kit. I We are not knocking it. We're just kind of like thinking like out loud how we would modify it. Yeah, which will come down the line, but for right now, this is great to just throw right in the bag, be done with that part of it. But being like shooters, knife carriers, the quick clot chest seal, that kind of stuff is kind of important, you know, to have in your kit. But even full, you could have still thrown that in the middle and still had all that stuff, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? 
I just sometimes feel like it's a 298 piece set. Well, it's really like a 120 piece set. And that's the only reason why I'm kind of knocking it, you know. And even after the last review we did on the bigger first aid kit that I'm going to keep in my car, uh, one of the first comments was like, I could do away with the 300 bandages and just go with, agree. And <laughs> we, we agree with you. And, and we didn't want to knock it because, you know, that's kind of how first aid kits are. So we kind of left it as is. But, you know, being that we're going to start reviewing them, we should be a little more critical, you know. But $20, pretty big bang for your buck. Comes in an awesome little carry case. That's crumbs on this. Oh, yeah, it is. One pound and two and an eighth ounces. So one pound, two ounces. Yeah, pretty much. That's, I mean... That's heavy. One one pound for my entire medical part taken care of. That's not your entire medical part, though. I'm talking right now, to finish off the summer, this is going straight in the bag just like this. Yeah. You know, like, that's perfect. I think 20 bucks, this is a phenomenal product to have. We don't really give to uh, give stamps to things that we can't field test. So we have no way of saying a yes or a no to this. I will say I am impressed by it, though. $20 is a great f***ing price for everything we just looked at. Yeah, I'm in. We're going to put the link in the description for it for, on Amazon, guys. Check it out. Buy it if you want. It helps us out in the long run. Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Hit the notification bell. Leave us some comments. Give us some good first aid kits, man. Like, yeah, I, I have not gotten many when it comes no. to the first aid kits. No. I get a lot of knives. I get a lot of flashlights. New Age Tactical. Over and out.